Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories. And Richard, you would think that anyone would be happy to have a souvenir from the moon, but maybe not this one. I mean, can you imagine, Erica, having uh, lunar dust from the Apollo 11 mission? You know, the mission I where Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. That would look so great sitting on your your countertop. It is indeed going up for auction, but if cockroaches give you the heebie-jeebies, this may not be for you, Cynthia. You see, uh, uh, Eric, you see this lunar dust was part of an experiment to see if it had a negative impact on cockroaches. Neil Armstrong brought it back from the moon. They let cockroaches, the critters, crawl around in there before studying the cockroaches. It didn't affect them in the end. Uh, but if you can get over that, this is a rare chance to own part of the lunar uh, mission, the Apollo mission. The opening bid, Erica, starts at $10,000. It's expected those to sell for about $400,000, and you might find a few uh, cockroach legs in there. Uh, can Oof. we put a bid in for you? Uh, why not? You know, I, I can get over it. I can, if it's locked away and it's, you know, there's no chance of anything kind of escaping from it, then I'm okay with it. Yeah. One, one big you? leap for, for Erica. Okay. There you go. Yes. Sticking with the space <laughs> <me> theme, <laughs> we're learning new things tonight about the two planets that are furthest from the Earth. This is interesting. Uh, Neptune and Uranus are similar, so similar that scientists often call them uh, twin planets. Mm -hmm. The icy bodies, though, are in different color. That's what sets them apart. There's two different colors. Neptune has a bright blue appearance. Uranus, on the other hand, has a pale shade of cyan blue. Up until now, scientists had no idea why this was the case, but a new study has figured it out. Scientists determined that an excess of haze builds up in Uranus's atmosphere, which gives it a lighter appearance. This haze is uh, thicker on Uranus, uh, which has a similar atmospheric layer uh, than Neptune, so uh, the whites appear a bit whiter on uh, Uranus. So, you know, without this haze, um, the, the, both these planets would be sort of solid blue, they were saying. So I know you were always asking, Richard, why do Uranus and Neptune, why do they have different colors? You constantly ask that. All so now we told you, now we have the answer. The, the one unanswered yeah. question I've never had, now I have the answer. They're beautiful colors, by the way. Okay, and finally, back down here on Earth, one country is trying to change the language around esports and gaming. France has just banned English gaming jargon in a push to preserve language purity. Among several uh, terms to be given official French alternatives were cloud gaming, which becomes je video de nage, and esports, which will now be translated as je video du compétition. Uh, the French culture ministry says the video game sector is rife with anglicisms that could act as a, quote, barrier to understanding for non-gamers. How about that, Erica? Yeah. Uh, bidding adieu to some English gaming terms. Very nice. Very nice, Richard. It, you know, France is very particular <laughs> that was about my the French, language. by the way. Um, I couldn't tell good? you. I, I would ask French speakers to <laughs> rate your French. So uh, I'll bid you adieu, and we'll see you tomorrow. Adieu. Au revoir, <laughs> Au revoir. Erica.